Welcome to the ADP Studio. In this video, we're going to go over the primary machine that you'll be using. And this is a lock stitch machine, a straight stitch machine, and it is our Juki 8700. Today, we're going to be going over these key components. So I'm just going to point a few out to you so you can have a basic understanding of what you're going to be working with this semester. Um, behind your machine, this is our spool thread holder. And for this machine, you have the capability of threading both the left and the right spool holder. Um, and this allows you to simultaneously stitch while threading your bobbin at the same time. Now, different from a domestic machine, the bobbin holder on this machine is located on the right side of your machine. Other key components um, are going to be your lamp. In this studio, your lamp is magnetic and can be, be easily removed um, and adjusted. Your lamp will turn on when you turn on the machine, but you do have the option to turn it on and off. Your upper part of the machine is going to look similar to a domestic machine, um, and we're going to go a little bit more in detail into what these differences are in the next video. What's important for you to know is that you'll be simultaneously accessing the top of the machine and the bottom of the machine while you're working. Now you typically will not be opening up your machine, but just to give you a view, if you gently pull your machine backwards, and there is a kickstand back here to rest the machine on, you'll notice the pool of oil. This oil is completely normal. Um, what you may want to check throughout using your machine is if the oil from your right pan, the larger pan, has residue in your left pan, which should always remain dry and lint free. Why stitching? If you notice that any um, residue is occurring on your fabric, or if any lint is surfacing while you're stitching, you may need to clean this pan. You will want to note that this is where your bobbin is inserted into, your bobbin and your bobbin case. Returning your machine back into place, we can now move down below the machine. Key component to look at your speed control. So this is located in the back of the machine. The 350 indicates 350 stitches while the machine speed goes all the way up to almost 3,500 stitches. And if we take a second to turn your machine on, and your on-off switch is right here, and you can see our light came on with our switch, you can get a feel for exactly how powerful this machine is if we turn the speed all the way up. Typically, when you're beginning to sew, you always want to make sure that this speed control is set between that 350 and 660. If your speed control is set too low, your machine will not stitch. You begin stitching by pressing down on your foot pedal. Even if you press down all the way with the speed control set to low, you will not be able to go quicker than the speed you have set it for. This is a great tool for beginning um, sewers. The next feature below our machine that you will become familiar with is your knee press. And what this knee press does, if you push it to the right, is it lifts your presser foot on the top of the machine. So as we lift, move our knee outward to the right, this moves your pressure foot up. That is it for our intro video. Um, please stay tuned and follow up with this video um, by learning how to thread the machine and then beginning to sew.